Hello, hello, it's Jane. Microphone is on. Everything is good. Uh, it's There's a massive cyclone happening uh, up off the east coast of Australia at the moment. Uh, well, it's in the throes of this and that and moving around. So I hope any of you that are in there, stir signs. Mm. But yes, it's very humid here as a result of all of that. That's okay, the plants love it. So that's good. But today I'm joining you via a live stream. So I'm just very grateful that even with hectic climate things happening, I can still do this with you. Yay! We are talking today about the Mirror Mirror Chrome Marker. Are we more than halfway? What? Uh, oh, yes. We are. Anyway, mm, shooting past. Oh, Christmas is rapidly approaching. Are you prepared? So yesterday I actually had some new inks that would make lovely Christmas presents for yourself. But let's uh, look at the Mirror Mirror Chrome mark. I'm just having a look at comments to say hello to Lynn and April and Jenny and Zandra. Penny, how are you going, Kate? Kerry, yay, Jen, Sarah, Michelle, oh, it's lovely to see you all. And I'm just going to give a general mm, reminder to us all that this is a very stressful time of year for a lot of people. And um, if you come across someone who is like extra stressed out and misbehaving, um, I suppose I, we don't really want to give people a pass and enable them in any way, but um, we can certainly not react, uh, react. We can just keep things, you know, if we can. And also, if you are activated by something, just because uh, I had someone who left comments and the thing with that sort of thing is usually if you're having a go at someone or reacting, you are projecting. And it says, you've heard everyone say it, not me, it, you are saying more about yourself and what you're going through than telling someone else about themselves and what they need to do and, you know, giving them unsolicited advice on what they should be doing with their lives. <laughs> if you feel yourself going into that mode, go for a walk or do something else. Unentangle yourself. Go and do some art. That, that, that would be good. Okay. That's my life advice for the day. But just remember, you know, everyone's a human being. Right. So I still have all of my fun stuff here from yesterday. I'll just pop this on here. Yes, yeah, so kindness always matters, doesn't it? Uh, yesterday I showed you the new, three new tattoo inks. Oh, that one's got blue tack on it when I was taking a photo. Uh, there's In the Navy, Yo Ho Ho, Shiver Me Timbers. So these are the waterproof inks that you can put in fountain pens and all of the rest. And then this is the new uh, Skull White Colour. So this is an opaque white ink, not fountain pen friendly. All the others are. You can put it in everything except a fountain pen. You can put it in there. It just won't make it all its way all the way through. Um, the new um, Dr. Inks, drinks, won't go through those. White ink's a funny thing. Um, white ink is, uh, to get it to be opaque enough, to do this joyfulness, so it, we, this this is the skull ink through the mister bottles. For it to do, be able to do this, it's just not going to be opaque enough to do fountain pens and other things. So this was with a dip pen. You can see it's just because there's far less of the molecules of the pigment, and white ink is actual physical little dots, right, of the white. So there's just a trade-off and this is fabulous ink. Anyway, what is a miracle is these sorts of ones where this has got this beautiful white ink 
So we can get it in this pen, but even this has been a long time coming. So this is the brush with Fame White. Fabulous. Uh, mm, okay. We're not talking about that today though. Although we might use them. Maybe not because I'm using black paper probably. So I'm just going to pack all these up. These are the new Dr. Ink pens. And if you didn't see it yesterday, I'll just quickly show you. Just because they're so cute. This foam that's inside the pen, they come with this. This is actually a little refill set because you can put other colours. Uh, and it's better to use a new little refill uh, because um, we can even swap it on the fly, really. You just have to keep that somewhere a little bit airtight. Um, or just load up as enough ink as you think you're going to use. You can rewash them, but good luck with that. Uh, it's easier to refill them uh, as you're going with the little refills. They come with six of them in a set. So that little, I've started to show you and then I've stopped. That little uh, refill, that foam, it comes in, you just shake it out, put it in the ink bottle, let it absorb the ink, restopper it, and then off you go drawing. I just love them so much. So I took to the art gallery the other day. So this set comes with six of them. Voila! Plus a sticker label sheet so that you can label the ink that's in them. So you can remember, you can just write it on the pen as well. And instructions, of course. Dr. Ink. Drink your ink, says Dr. Ink. <laughs> See, I've got the labels on there. Shiver me timbers. Shiver me yo-ho-ho. -ho. If you're doing a little mix and match of different inks. Pop the little refills back in there. I was doing a little photo shoot. Okay, we're talking about this guy today. Oh, and I've already got this page started, so why not? I was just playing with the ink and showing you things there. But that could become part of the page. Maybe there. Um... Oh, that's a great idea. Kerry's saying a little test tube with the stopper if you've got something like that, if you're saving your refills. Now, I've never done that. Like, I know that just technically it would be possible. But <clears throat> uh, if you're worried that you're not going to use uh, all of that ink up, I would just put less in it rather than hot swapping the, 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 the foam inserts. But... Once they're yours, that's up to you, and you can do whatever it is you want. That's the beautiful thing about life. You have choices. You have choices. Many, many choices. <laughs> so... What we're celebrating today is actually what I just started using then, the Mirror Mirror Reflective Chrome Marker. I'll just show you a little... Well, I am currently showing this. But it is super shiny, reflective ink. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. So when it's flat like this, it's a little hard to see until I start moving the page. And then what I've got under here is little swatches of, whew, I think this might be the Atlantis and um, um, Artificial Intelligence handmade watercolours that are under here. And then <clears throat> I sprayed some of the Skull ink uh, through one of my laces to just create something, you know, a little bit this and that. I'm just feeling a little bit Eyesy, washy tight. After seeing, uh, playing, looking at Liz's beautiful journal yesterday. Uh, and if you haven't watched that video, oh, the beginning of it is my mum's journal. It's just so lovely to see other people's journals. And uh, she, well, she has actually been journaling for quite some time now. And it's just, I don't know, I just love seeing them seeing her journal just 
and she uses my washi tape eyes uh, a lot and whatever it is that you need to do to create and feel happy and confident is, is exactly fabulous. And just remember, if someone gives you advice on what it is that you're meant to be doing, you can smile politely. Oh, thanks. You don't have to listen to it, and you don't have to let it uh, bother your bother your day at all. And I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't mean to vague book, but I just. Um, yeah, sometimes you get a little people getting a bit. Um, not supportive, just, you know, but they wouldn't see it that way. Okay, so we have a cloud, a cloud man in the sky. <laughs> Let's move this. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the camera a bit better. Oh, that's better. Hey, Zandra. Oh, yes, they are. What about little test chairs? Yes, yes. <coughs> yes, the tips are all the same, Heather. Uh, for the, um, they're all a, a brush tip. So it's a flexible brush, not a separate bristles brush. Uh, we'll, I'll incorporate them at some point in something today. Uh, let's do, um, uh, I might, might do a little... Now, obviously, this has got a dual point, dual, dual uh, tip. Oh, my gosh. So we've got this fine tip on this side. Oh, that one looks more like a chef's hat. It's meant to be a cloud, but I didn't decide that that's what it was meant to be until I started drawing. But it's got the pinpoint paint pen at one end and a bullet tip at the other. <coughs> Excuse me, so sorry. <coughs> oh my gosh. Just, uh, that's annoying, isn't it? I don't know what's going on there. Ugh. There's been a bit of summer flu happening around. Uh, I don't want it, thank you. But I did go to that big concert. I don't want to catch anything off anyone. Just, uh... Just showing you that this isn't the same type as the musical markers where you've got the swappable chisel to um, bullet tip. It's just the bullet tips. I was showing you. Checking it for myself, really, because I couldn't remember. There was, there was a technical reason. I think this type of ink has to stay a bit more airtight. So this is the type of ink you've got to shake up. Shake it up, shake it up. I'm, I'm, I kind of like my little cloud, so I'm now I'm procrastinating. Might have two clouds here. Maybe even a little third one peeking on the side somewhere maybe here so why is he flying off on his own or her doesn't matter i guess But I do like the little um, <laughs> um, I might put the little washi tape eyes on there again, I think. Lift that up just so you can see how gorgeous and flashy it is. 
So is it in this journal or in the other journal? I've got... Must be in here. I've got a gorgeous uh, little sirens. Huh. I don't know where it is. Is it in here? Oh my god, this is, sorry, I have to not do this every day, but, oh, this is chrome marker here a little bit, and, oh no, that might be brush, that might be tippy toes, actually, that's tippy toes, okay, sorry. There's, we've got lots of choices, okay? Do you need them all? You might not, I do. <laughs> I definitely need all the choices. I'm looking for a particular two girls and I don't know where they are. Huh. No, no, no. Well, it's got to be in one of those two books. Unless I've pulled them out and put them in my other one. Anyway. So every so often with the, the type of paint pen that you need to shake up, you do need to shake them up as you're using them because as you're, you want to keep the um, pigment floating around in the acrylic medium and that's what it's an acrylic ink but we want to keep those molecules moving going doing their thing so uh, every so often you will need to shake it and then to prime it you know you just pump it and uh, if you did leave the cap off you might the acrylic can dry on them and it, that can prevent the ink coming through but usually if you soak it or just rehydrate it is really all we're wanting to happen uh, it's usually fine you can completely kill them um, hopefully you don't do that very often usually if you do it once you learn and if you let anyone else use your art supplies is always a good idea just to go and have a little check just after they've finished just to make sure they've put the lids of things your favorite things just back on properly so that when you go to use them you don't have to gnash your teeth you don't have to wail nothing it's all good <laughs> We don't want wailing over art supplies, no. Sometimes you do it yourself, you can't even blame anyone else. That's very annoying, I must say. It's terrible when something happens and there's no one else to blame. <laughs> now, actually, I might make this her eyes. Oh, they look like fish. So this is a washi set uh, I can't remember the one. It's on my website. It's one of the exclusive ones. And I've, we've been, I've had a lot of questions about where can I find your things in the UK or where can I find your things in the US or insert country here. And the answer is always the same. At janedovenport.com we send out every day. Um, and com completely safe. No dramas at all, not ever. Uh, the only thing we'd like, I know people miss having, being able to go to the local big box store and see my things there, like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Hobby Craft. And I know we're all addicted to the lovely vouchers. Well, I live in Australia, we don't have that system, but um, you know, I know that that's a, a fabulous thing but um, yeah it's just times have changed and I have my things on my website and I love it oh I love their little eyes like that <laughs> okay now what's going on here I think we need a star in the sky Because the crime. Mm. Maybe I'll do some just some little twinkly ones. 
for some little guys. If you've got any questions for me, please ask. I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, let's have a little look. <laughs> They're cute. I like my little... Things now, if I want to just make them, the eyes pop just a little bit more, I'm just adding a little bit of brush with fame. So this is another type of acrylic pen. Um, and they've got, there's all the different colours. Like this. Let that white uh, dry. Oh, look how cute the little clouds are. Okay, now we need a fairy. I think, what do you think? <gasps> I've got my beautiful little Tada fairy. Where is she? I, could, I wonder if I could use a stamp. Let me just. Let me just do a little test. I've done this with art foamies. I know that it works really well with them. Where's my little eye? Normally she's sitting right here. This is the little eye that's part of the Victor, victory. What's it called now? So I'll do one with this. Now I do have to make sure I clean. Actually, I haven't done it with the chrome marker. So let's just see if it works. There's no reason why it wouldn't. It might dry a bit too quickly. Let's just see. Nah, it's okay. Uh, it'd be... <sighs> Let's just let it dry actually, before I'm too hasty to judge. Now what I do need to do is if, so this is none of the Art Foamies stamps, if you put acrylic on it, we really want to wash that off uh, because otherwise the little, the nice little surface will get tarnationed, tarnished, and it won't be as receptive and as magic as it once was. So we may as well give it a little bit of TLC just right away. So I gave her a nice little clean there. Oh, my mum's so nice. She brought me down a big new fresh roll of paper wipes. Okay. Fabulous. Now what I wanted to just see is... Where's my little fairy? Oh, maybe she's too big for this. Anyway, no, she's perfect. Like, how cute would she be on there? So if, it, if the stamp doesn't work out, I'll just draw it. But this is from the Tada set. And just need my big block. Nope. I need my big, big block. And I'm going to put her, so I'll just put her where she's going to be. Oh, yeah, like she's... Putting the star up there. Oh, she's decorating her Christmas trees. Okay, well, I dropped the block, but that's about right. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll just see. So I've got this. I might also grab uh, my brush with fame. And I've also got my tippy toes because I could have several different silvers. Well, maybe I could just use the silver in part. I have to work fairly quickly so I could use other ink or paint uh, for other areas but 
let's just tr we'll try this I'll try it so you don't have to <coughs> now what am I going to use for there though oh I've got to work quick come on Jane oh, I'm going to use the other silver <laughs> Because this has got that brush tip, this might be a better one to use. I don't know how the chrome will go. Well, whether it goes or not doesn't matter. It's just for fun. I can just redraw it. This might just give me enough of the key elements to do what needs to be done. Okay, so that chrome didn't work at all. <laughs> at all. I think it dried too quickly and I do want to make sure I get that off my stamp but I do like the idea of the silver legs so I am going to try that again though I've got to say one of the things that I love most about live streaming is that I try some different things you know um, and might even put a little bit of this cleaner on there but alcohol is what will get it off at the end of the day in fact I'm just going to clean her I've got these little alcohol wipes from bulk packs oh yeah look straight off these are very, this is from, you know, the pandemic and uh, all the hand cleaning. Now, I, I don't know if the, they would be fabulous for the stamp long term, but boy, if you want to have a nice clean stamp, because you've been putting acrylic on it, there you go. I'll just wipe it off. Oh, wow. Well, I learned something then. Alcohol wipe. Very good. It might make it go cloudy over time, but I wiped it all off, so all good. But I'll have her there because I could use my little Tada Fairy. I could also use my little stamp, my stencil rather. My beautiful dreamer stencil. But I'll just get my little fairy here. Oh, and the more matte silver looks nice with the chroma over the top. <gasps> it's so reflective. Whoa. But I can just copy my little Feralina. Ballerina. Little fairy Christmas. Oh, and I finally got my little fairy Christmas stamps again. <laughs> I didn't find mine, but I did find, uh, but I got another set. So mine must be around somewhere. I feel like I've got a whole bunch of stamps out here. So I, I must have taken them off somewhere. I'll find them. They must be at the warehouse. I'm going to make her little dress even more poofy. Oh, she's got her little wings. Let's get them happening. One leg here. One leg here. I might actually pop to the other marker. Sorry, little cloud, that she's standing on your head there like that, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Oh, I should really have made her little 
dress a bit more cloud-like itself. That would be kind of cute. She's up there in the clouds, putting the stars there, decorating for New Year's Eve. <laughs> cute. Oh, Penny says, when something doesn't work for you, it makes you feel better in the sense if I don't get it right, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Imagine if everything just worked out perfectly. How boring. Boring it would be. Boring life would get. She says that at this second. But it would be nice if things worked out all the time. <laughs> but unfortunately, we do need challenge in our lives. Um, it's just getting it right. Enough to learn, not enough to uh, destroy you, you know. This is clouds in the sky. Mm, actually, I prefer... Um, text this one. <gasps> and had such a proud auntie moment. My Sophie, who you know, if you've been around for a bit, she did very well in her exams, as we knew she would, but she did better even than she thought she would. Oh, so clever. She worked really hard, and uh, the, all of that paid off. And she's the best person in the world. Yeah, I said it was a proud auntie moment, okay? Now, why aren't you doing what I want you to do exactly when I want you to do it? Just do it. There we go. I'm just talking with my pen here. I'm not talking to you, I'm telling you what to do. But if it's my pen, I'm, I think I'm within my rights to demand a certain level of respect. Okay, little fairy. Oh, how gorgeous is that pen? Okay, so as you can see, it's amazing over black paper. So over coloured paper, it's going to be just fabulous. Sorry, I'm just, I've got a system here. I added extra surfaces so I could... Uh, add things as needed and I've completely somehow managed to cover the surface surfaces and things that I absolutely don't need and there's just been a mass pushing off of things uh, over there so that I can find things again. Excellent! You see that can go there, you can all go there Brilliant. Now let's actually, because that one I'm going to just, that one, the girl, she just keep, I just keep going on and on with her. But this journal here, I want to start a new Back to the Future journal uh, for the new year. So I really do need to keep just things moving along, get, just get things happening while we're... So I've got a few little things. When I think I've surrendered, I've surrendered them all. What is this? I choose love. Lens of love. Oh, eyes of love, that's cute. 
so anyway, what I'm trying to say is I really want to turn this into a more finished journal. So all of the pages pretty much have colour in them. Some of them have drawings and it's really time to start just turning it into some sort of journal and some sort of... like yeah so that I can start a new journal and everything will be fabulous so let's let's start that process I didn't like those quotes uh, Penny says I don't want to place my order until the Egyptian foamies come out they're not coming out Penny I don't know what you're talking about um, <laughs> you might be joking I think but there are no Egyptian foamies That might just happen in the future, but it would be a long way away. There's no, um, there's, there's no Egyptian foamies. If I gave you that impression, I apologise, but. Uh, This pen. Is divine. That was the rest of that sentence. Half formed. But let's use this. Oh, whoa. Yum. Just to give it some fanciness. Wow, it's like it's been... Bedazzled. Can you use these markers on glass? You can use them on glass, but whether they will um, stay is, would be a totally different thing. Even alcohol markers, because glass, the whole idea is that it's impervious. So you can use them on there, but you'd be able to scratch it off, like you can do with most things on glass, unless it's coated. Uh, or it's, you know, baked, um, uh, I've got some sort of coating or surfacing, you know, and then not much on glass can survive in a dishwasher, for instance, because the whole idea with glass is that it's slick so that you don't get bacteria or whatever. So you can, but um, I'm sure there are other things that would be better, uh, like specialist things that someone asked me about, uh, using things as makeup, uh, not yeah, like makeup or like um, face paint. Uh, technically, sure, um, but this they would stain your skin, and just face paint or f makeup would actually would be so, would be better because it's made for for that purpose. Some things you can kind of repurpose this and that, but. Um, mm, it's not really the ideal. So I'm sure there are glass markers, but they're, they're not the colours are a bit. Yeah. I think Pebio kind of makes some of those, but are they that gel stuff so that it comes off? I can't remember. So these are welcome matte pigments here underneath. So they're going to be a little bit absorbent, but I'm, I'm, it's not going to stop me from playing around, having some fun, just adding some little marks, some little designs. My favourite, actually, pen for doing this kind of thing is definitely the tippy toes. These are glorious because the tip is so fine. But it's also you 
you can do that. Oh, it's turned into like a little creature. Love it. Okay. How long does the mirror mat marker take to dry? Not long. So that is dry. What we were looking at, even that thicker application, that's pretty dry. Well, it's dry. It is dry. Always it depends on how thickly you have placed it and what else is going on and, you know, some cosmic influences. <laughs> influences, not influencers. So when I'm doing these sort of patterns like this, I'm trying to make a different pattern in each swatch, each bubble, so that it just has that variety. And uh, oh, this colour on this colour. Mm, mm, mm. It's like a little game that I play with my mind. This is a very nice way to like warm up. Let's get another chrome one. Where is she? I've already got dots with her. I've got mermaid scales. And now we're going to go in with uh, some loops. Yeah, so the dual ended one, that's the mirror mirror and the other dual ended one is the uh, Wonder Writer. So this writes on just about everything, but it's mainly, I got it, so that <clears throat> we can do labelling with it. Because, um, to be frank, I don't like using not my own things. I like to just see if I can make things better and better and better and better, and more and more fit for purpose. Um, so, that is what I I do, and I shall keep on doing it. So this has got that dual. I'm just testing things on glass as well, because you asked, Penny. So this will, certainly, you could do a design, but if it's something non-porous like that, it's going to um, scratch off eventually, because there's just nothing for it to stick to, especially if I haven't cleaned it and all that beforehand. Yeah, so this just starts to become a different thing when I'm doing, if I've done... That's just one of my absolute favourite things to do. Oh, she needs to be... So what, all I'm going to do there is just give it a little reflect fresh, like a little dab of water. Make sure I put her to bed on top of her head and uh, let the ink flow back down. Because you are meant to store markers uh, horizontally, I store these vertically and then just every so often I uh, turn them the other way around. And, uh, but if they're sitting up, would for a bit too long just the ink starts to settle, travel down gravity hello gravity can be very gravity and uh, that is what happened to that white one so I'll just give her a little refresh a hydration a moisturizing and uh, just let her sleep it off Oh wow, that 
hot pink and green. What a combo. Yum. Okay, so if I've got a page like that with all these little whirly squirlies on it, see, then that's when I would maybe grab my um, a little book of quotes. I've got tons of them. And just have a little... When you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. But rather than say that, just give this a little shake. If you can't find the be the colour or you can be the rainbow there and just sort of turning things into a little bit more I don't know just more journaling-ish um, This has already got a little bit of text here, but I'm just going to come over with my mirror mirror. This is Pigments of Imagination, and I've used the spray ink. Now, see, this is Storytime ink that I've got this white here, and that's a little bit glossy, like a satin, and this is more matte. So it's got a, um, a flatter finish. So there are two different inks. If you've got the Storytime white ink, uh, the Skull ink is different. So you have an excuse to have both if you need the excuse. Or if you just want one, just pick one. But uh, if you want the excuse for both, there you go. Merry Christmas, you're welcome. See, now this is just waiting for uh, something fun. A nice little... I don't know quite about something. I'm going to Trixie her eye in a little bit because a little bit sneaking off too far away from her uh, what could be natural. So I'm going to bring, so it'll just be heavy makeup. That's good. Actually, she reminds me of one of the Miami um, housewives. Okay, so now she's got. Uh, like this is her neck. Yeah, let's get this sorted out. She's got little cat ears on. I think this is layer cake. Wow, look how bright the colours look on screen. And in the background, this is um, a Joyful Gesso and Layer Cake, I think. And we've got Power Pastels. If it's both terrifying and amazing, then you should definitely pursue it. You think big, you get big. You think small, you get small. <gasps> Good energy is contagious. I love it. Good energy is contagious. Well, that's kind of a nice little uh, thing that we can pop here. I'm going to use black. And I'm going to give you... So this is Brush With Fame. Good energy. Oh, I love that my mum's uh, tech uh, things yesterday. It looks so good. Her text that uh, the bright, brighter things. Always look for the bright side. I think it was at the beginning. Ugh, the chance of a spelling error is a thousand percent at this point. Hmm.
and let's uh, give this some silver studs as well that black pen is just fabulous good energy is contagious I'm just going to fix her is that dry enough yet just fix her eye up a little bit She's always, I've always liked this, but uh, she's always, she has bothered me for quite a while. So it's nice to just finally uh, just help this girl out. How do you guys work on your journals? Do you finish every page as you go or do you just keep going back? Just see how things eventuate. But she's got contagious good energy. Good energy is contagious. She is giving you her good energy. This is um, a lay cake that I put on an art foamy. Yes, tippy toes are actually a paint pen. So these are an acrylic. They're like a metallic version of the brush with fame. The formula is a bit different. Um, same sort of thing. So you don't have to shake them up. They're a non-shake uh, paint pen. Like the paint over pen. Um, they're a good one too for the this sort of process. And uh, I just love doing this sort of thing. So I've got room here. This is a good place for a little, some text as well. And then, or I could do um, whatever, if you can, if, it's you against you every day. Make sure the right you wins. Oh, I like this. Always be generous with your kindness. After all, it's free. She looks like she's kind. So, yeah, this is a design by Art Famous. Yeah, I'll show it to you. It's just one of my... It's not from my collection. It's just from my personal collection. So it's a set. It's that... And there she is. So there's no details. It's just sort of like a head and shoulders. And I painted it with layer cake and um, stamped and then just kept going. So that was a fun uh, thing to do. So you can find like those at artfamilies.com, of course. Now, where was this? Always be generous with your kindness. Uh, after all, I'm just absolutely loving this. So I'm just going to. So always be generous. I don't want to be sound too commanding. It's just a, a, um, it's a mantra to me. Always. Oh, I have to fit this here. With your kindness. And then we can, I might add that in this. That 
right so you've got that little I don't know, just sort of it just sort of makes the for me it just makes the page come together into something else so rather than this this I think I was just showing people some collage this must have been for Christmas last year <laughs> and we've got star power ink there the world won't fall apart if you take it from your shoulders but you might if you don't oh I like it Build a life you don't need a holiday from. Oh, that's good. Mine a garden. Build a life you don't need a holiday from. Well, the holidays the holidays. I quite like that. Let's just put that in there. Building a life. But I could change it to her. She's building. Give her some little earrings. I think this was from my little cute stencils, the little faces. <laughs> what a strange face, a strange thing. Okay, build a life. I'm going to put she... She was building a life. <laughs> it's quite a, a nice uh, thought, actually. That black that I put around there, I don't really like. It's too heavy. But anyway, I must say I don't really like this page at all. But it's got a little message, hasn't it? Maybe if I, because I've started now, I'm just going to lean in and... is the Wonder Writer. So I'm going to keep everything real sketchy. Just give this a little bit more definition because the star power is in there doing its beauty. So we may as well let it do its beauty and this needs a bit of variety in it. just keep falling out of that thing it's not the right I need to make my own I've got, sorry I've got some storage that's off to the side and it's just um, this is how this is what happens uh, I try and you know use something that exists right and it's just not quite good enough and then eventually I get annoyed with it enough that I think you know what I can do that better and uh, <laughs> eventually I I get sorted and off I go I try and make it better a movie with Julia Roberts last night where the deers kept hanging around the house but I don't it was never addressed it's one of those movies that ends very right in the middle of the story and you're just like what you left with many questions it was good but uh, I suppose people are making it because it's sort of they you know it's their showing their acting but I don't really care about it. I already know she can act um, I, I do want to know what happened to the characters.
Oh, this was that same art foamy. I'm just playing around. Yes, reworking and finishing. Do you know what? If I want to make life really easy on myself, I just take a page out of my mum's book. And uh, oh, that colour seems to suit her. Without, I think I might give her red hair and freckles. She's sort of got a face now. Just a little bit of a face, and I might even use these. Might use the new colour I made up. Where was that one? Um, Yo ho ho, shiver me timbers. Mixed those two yesterday, put them in here, and then destroyed my never swearing uh, on camera streak, which has been. <sighs> How long have I been doing lives? Oh my gosh. And but it was I spilled ink. Like I wasted ink. So it was very distressing. Spilling beautiful ink. So sorry about that. So eventually, if I fiddle around with this page enough, it'll become not just a uh, just a random what all nothingness. It'll actually become a somethingness. A somethingness. It's a technical term. See, and now she's got a crown, so. It's quite, like, really curious. A lot of the, like, I went to this fairy tales exhibition and it was fairy tales in art and movies. So much of it is around royals, royalty. A lot of fairy tales, like, especially the really old ones. And I suppose, you know, they were people that people knew. And I suppose for like the people who were hearing the stories, you know, a, royals were so, well, who would know much about them really. You know, the every man, or like now, were just sort of when they come out to do appearances. So, but we've always been fascinated with them. And the whole concept of it's a bit bizarre, really, but you know, it is what it is. It's been part of humanity for a long time. But I wonder who came up with the first idea that they would be the king and everyone would <laughs> bow to them. You give me all your money and do all the work, and I will sit up here on my chair and. Tell everyone what to do. There, that's a great idea. Yay! <laughs> but I, from this being a blob, I really quite like her. So uh, I might use. Where's I think Hermes was here. That's the one I want. Where's Hermes? Is that here? Yes. I knew you were in here, Hermes. And I've, this is a um, watercolour spray, maybe? Oh, it's okay to not figure it out yet. Oh, that's lucky. 
choice, chance, and change. When you are radically yourself, you become magnetic. So I pick this colour because it's going to bring a bit of this beige over here. Oh, I hope it's hit on. Radically herself. chisel tip when you've got the chisel tip in the situation for what you want it for it's just such a satisfying thing mm. I might even put a bit of chrome on that doesn't really match but it will go with the other pages radically herself I kind of really like that I'm gonna put some more eyes up here seeing different eyes would make it look a little bit different too and if I don't like that I can always take it off I might even put it like that radically herself oh it better just like that with one set of eyes hmm, okay I like it and I'll just have uh, I'm using this black pen the silver pen and these little st stickers these washy eyes sort of as a connecting device that's going to repeat through the journal here and there perhaps mm. See it, this is, she's already, it's already starting to come together as a little bit of a book. The heart of woman goes forth with the dawn. And there are some eyes to help you go forth with the dawn. Isn't she cute? Hi Susan, how are you going? Oh good, Elsie got the new inks, they're just fantastic. Happy birthday, Yvonne. Trust the mess, always. See, and that needs a bit of a drawing there, doesn't it? So, should we trust the mess and just, should we just draw something? <gasps> what should we draw? Look, I can see a little person here. There's their body, there's their skirt. This is probably the wrong colour, I should go in, sil in the silver, but I can go over with the silver. Um, okay. And this is sort of her hair, this is her shoulder, her arm. That could be a neck, I might make that head a little bit bigger. Maybe that's her ponytail. I'm just trusting the mess and letting it uh, tell me what's what. And now I've got a little, oh, we're nearly there. Hang in there, Jane, just keep doing. There we go. <gasps> that's the top back of her crown. There we go. You can be doing magic fingers. Boop, like that. Our oh, thumbs on thumbs on the wrong side. I'll be going like that. Okay. What ifs? It's something. Eyelash. Trust the mess. She's trusting the mess. That's what she's doing. She's also got chrome hair. and uh, some little chrome feet. Right, trust the mess. What else can you do? Ah, 
now there's plenty of things you can do. <laughs> you cannot trust it and panic about every little thing and not enjoy yourself. But you may as well just trust the mess and uh, in enjoy whatever craziness ensues. She's just written that. There we go. Trust the mess. There she goes. Oh, I've already got some nice little stickers here. And don't, oh, this is going to be nice. There's something in chrome here. Let me have a, I'm going to look in here and see what I can see. <sighs> okay, well, there's a little bit of a something there, a little face or something there. The other thing is you just, if you can't find something, you put a stamp on it, stencil on it, audition some ideas. But, um, I'm seeing a face here and like a tam shanta How funny, sketching in chrome marker. Can't, couldn't be happier, really. It's usually something you would do little finishing touches with. But why, um, why limit ourselves? really and that might be why limit yourself why ever do you limit your There you go. And she's to, she, this is a magician here. The chromiosity is completely affected by whatever is underneath the page. It's quite fabulous. I wish these eyes looked the other way. But I am enjoying using them. Yeah, I wish I had some that were looking that way, some that were looking that way. But I am enjoying using them very, very much. So now I could just leave this as this for the time being, but this could become something quite nice. Why not? Let's just do it. Wow, Debbie, 83. Oh, my, I was like, oh, wow, I went 83 year old mum. That's amazing. I don't want to give away my mum's age. <laughs> oh, make decisions based on hope and possibility. Oh, make decisions based on what should happen, not what shouldn't. Should we do gold? I think we better go for gold for this one. Don't ever make decisions based on... Well, I might not say don't ever make decisions based on fear. What I'll say is make decisions based on hope and possibility. I think it needs to be black, actually. My dad used to always say, don't make a decision when you're tired. It's the same as making one when you're drunk. I was like, oh gosh. Make decisions. Hope and possibility. What lovely things hope and possibility are. Hope and we need them, don't we?
Make decisions based on hope and possibility. How good is it looking? <clears throat> Make decisions based on what should happen, not what shouldn't. Should that be on a different colour? Maybe not gold. Might go silver. Might go chrome. Based on hope and positivity. Um, make decisions based on what should happen, not what Oh, that's Michelle Obama. What a, that's a fabulous quote. Sometimes the quote is made better even by who said it. It just sort of gives it, you suddenly hear their voice. And you, because you, we see ourselves in quotes, you know, and, and it's like music lyrics. You know, you, you, bring the meaning with you but when you know who is saying it singing it whatever uh, if you know anything of their life sometimes that just adds a different element to it just some little studs here every time i say the word studs i hear olivia newton john going oh stud in greece remember when she turned all Leather clad and cool. I was pretending to smoke, you know. You better shape up. Cause I need a man. <laughs> Sorry for that. Well, this is good. They didn't wear clothes, they wore feelings on coat hangers. Thank you. These are um Um, 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 journal tattoos. And I've got journal tattoos in here. I can add a little bit of chrome. And these, <laughs> this is art of swatches. And then I started to decorate the swatches as I did. For, oh, here we are with our um, beautiful inks from the other day. Yesterday, there's the ink that I mixed. Ah, uh, this is a test of something. I love this as is, but I think we could have a little bit of, uh, I think we said radically magnetic, didn't we? No, radically yourself, radically herself. Um, let's get another one. Ooh, have a mind that's open to everything, attached to nothing. Well, she's very much got an open mind. It's so open, her face is... Uh, <laughs> She has no face. Her mind is that open. Have, I'm just getting the pen juicy, have a mind. Now you could plan this out. But uh, I'm not doing that. Have a mind. Trust the mess, you know. Trust the one that is. Oops. This is all tattoo ink. open to everything and oh it's having trouble over this the pen I just have to keep refreshing it that's all and I'm ending up with a nice little pattern up here and uh,
have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing. If you didn't want to, sometimes the, a quote like that can sound a little bit um, demandy, like it's demanding that you and telling you what to do. And you can change it. That's why sometimes I said she, I changed the quote to she, blah, blah, something else. Um, or rather than be radically yourself, it's like a command. And I don't sometimes want that in my journal. I don't want a command. She was building a life. And then if I want to follow her along and do that too, well, then that's up to me. So that sometimes sounds a bit commandy, a bit preachy. I don't want to be preached to. So um, I could change this to um, I have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing. Um, so it's personalising it rather than, or she had a mind that was open. Just, it's not as preachy is uh, the point. See, this is ripe for opportunity right here, even if we've got a little bit of just design work happening. It's going to put dots in every one of these. Um here as well so this is all tattoo ink you can live a perfect day without doing something for someone else who can never repay you um, be yourself people don't have to like you and you don't have to care well I can just say be your self Everyone else is taken. Be yourself. People don't have to like you. You don't have to care. It's, oh, well, it's true, isn't it? I don't have to write the whole thing. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People forget what you did. But people will never forget how you make them feel. That's true, isn't it? Happy New Year. Oh, that's nice. If you're messy, complicated and afraid, show up anyway. Be messy. <laughs> uh, from time to time, the right kind of messy. Why not? Be messy. Be messy. Okay. You are, you are a series of mistakes that had to happen for you to find you. Be messy. Okay. Make mistakes. Be messy, make mistakes. Live your life. Be messy, make mistakes. I'm just talking about art now. You don't have to be talking about life. And do you know what? I'm going to give it a little spray. But looking up, like we've... All these journals finished up to here now. Sort of. A bit. More than it was. Just going to give it a little. I just want some stars or something else in there. Just ch change of pace. Uh, the quote book, I'll show you the cover in a second. Um, but I've got tons and I just change them around. I just have some next to me here uh, at, at my art table. I just change them around every so often. Or poetry books. Um, I'm sorry, but magic. So this particular one is called Daily Mantras to Ignite Your Purpose by Lisa Messenger. And I think it's Australian. Don't know. Something. By I don't know the messenger group I think this is her own business up oh, the collective hub so I think it's uh, self-published go Lisa messenger you're like love you whoever you are be messy make mistakes
tattoo ink over here. Now that's quite, it's not quite dry yet, so I'll just, Lisa Messenger, could you just hold that for me? Thank you. But this would be lovely, just some, some little text in here and then I'll go, I think. But Mira Mira, she's doing good. She's, she's doing good. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Don't leave home without them. <laughs> My philosophy is it's none of my business what people say of me and think of me. I am what I am and I do what I do. Well, that's Popeye. I am what I am. I am what I am. Oh, be the woman that fixes another woman's crown without telling the world it was crooked. Start today, repeat tomorrow. Oh. Happiness can be found even in the darks of times if only one remembers to turn out the light, on the light. You write your life story by the choices you make. Do you want to know who you are? Don't ask. Act, action. Okay, choose love no matter what's happening inside of you, no matter what's happening outside of you. Oh, choose love. That's a good one. Do your best until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. Ugh, oh, Maya Angelou, everything she says is magic. Um, I might go in with this soft colour. Uh, do the best you can until you know better. Even that is good. So this is the Meet Your Marker. Now you can get a set of these for free when you order. So we've got a special bundle for Christmas. The three new tattoo inks. Uh, we're giving you the skull ink and a set of the Meet Your Markers because you can load those inks. Not the skull ink, but you can load the new tattoo inks into the Meet Your Markers. And it's kind of like Meet Your Maker, but you're meeting your marker, okay? And you also get a set of the new Dr. Ink pens with the pencil case and stickers and the whole thing. Do the best you can. This is a bit of a commandy one, isn't it? Do the... Best you can... Uh, I might change it because this is the illumination. Where's my... Then this one's a bit commandy, but a good command it's okay if it's Maya Angelou I don't mind if she commands me so much but I do love her very much do the best you can then when you know better do better this is um, playing around with some things oh, this is layer cake I can just leave that as swatches we were playing around with this yesterday with the inks oh whoops um, the one thing you have that nobody else has is you, your voice, your vision. So write and draw and build and play and dance and live as only you can. See, Neil Gaiman, love that one because it talks about drawing and painting. So it might be a bit full on to have black there. So what other colour? And then I better call it quits. <gasps> oh my gosh, I have to go. I'm late. Okay, well... I'm going to just keep going on with that at some point and uh, just having fun. Well, my friends, <laughs> thank you for joining me. I didn't mean to be here for this long. I just was having too much fun finishing, getting this journal finished, using the mirror mirror. Tomorrow we have <gasps> Chippy Toes. Yum. So I might even just continue this process of finishing a journal and... Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. And of course, everything I showed you is at my website, janedavenport.com. And we send all over the world, every working day, to people everywhere. <laughs>